Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Gummy Yurt to kick off round two for group D. Could be an interesting round, this could be. Find out why that is. Let's have a look at our fight card, shall we? So up first we have got two newcomers that won their respective matches in round one. Epic Brad going up against M Steel. We also have the two other guys that won in round one. Dino fans taking on former champ Ultimate Dino King. Then we have two guys that lost in round one. D team going up against Gazmaniac. Before our big main event of this session, former champ Dini Darius looking to bounce back from a shock loss, going up against Morslet, who lost in round one to Ultima Dino King. Right, let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Okay, in the red corner for M Steel, we for Epic Brad, we have got Alpha Chasmosaurus. Epic Brad enjoyed a winning start against the D team. In the blue corner. Representing M Steel, we got Super Tarasaurus. M Steel enjoyed probably the shock of the round in round one. And I'd say the shock of the tournament so far in taking out the former champ Diddy Darius. Both of these two newcomers looking to go 2 0 in this contest. I think this is going to be a tight game. Ooh, Chasmosaurus gets the first hit on the board. M Steel gonna feel the slip here. Badoosh. Okay, that's once. Good start from Epic Brad there. Oh, that's a tie. That's another tie. Now the Tarbosaurus does have Death Fire, so Death Fire, Death Fire can be a factor, but. It is Chasmosaurus getting all the hits. Oh, here we go. Deathfire has been triggered. That's twice, so no wake mode yet. Got to save that as well. Oh, it's a Deathfire. I think that's the first Deathfire in this tournament. No, it's not. It's the second. And it will not be the last massive hit there by, by M Steel. And Chasmosaurus, despite the strong start, going down. Alpha Slash. Right, coming in next for Epic Brad, we've got Spiny Dino Tactor. Well, Epic Brad has enjoyed a good start in this match, but that Death Fire has pretty much put M Steel in the lead. But we all know the power of Dino Tactors in this tournament. So, M, so M Steel's gonna have to watch out for this, this Spiny. Now, his second Dino, which is Pentaceratops, does have type advantage, so that could be key in this matchup. And if the Tarbosaurus can get a hit here, it will have a chance to hit it with the Awaken Mode. And he does get the next hit. And we are going to see some Awaken action. Hmm, how crucial could this be? Ooh. Dodge the bullet there, Epic Brad. Taking out the Tarbosaurus. Missed opportunity there for M Steel to extend his lead. Right, coming in next for M Steel, we've got Pentaceratops. This Pentaceratops caused Diddy Daria so many problems in round one. And it's going to be a tough nut to crack for Epic Brad here, yeah, because they'll have type advantage over Spiny. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, that's a big crit. That's a Gatlin spark. Massive hit coming from Pentaceratops. Oh, he freaking killed it! Massive hit there from M Steel, and now all of a sudden, Epic Brad is in a bit of a pickle. But let's not count them out yet. Let's come in and food. We've got Ferrazinosaurus. And well, Epic Brad's going to need it to perform here, otherwise he's going to taste defeat. M Steel looking really strong in this match all of a sudden. Wow, that death fire was the turning point. Another hit from Pentaceratops. And another hit! Is it going to be a bonus point win? Ooh. Electric charge there. And just, 
Wow, I, I honestly, Epic Brad is just shaken from our death fire. It's completely swung the momentum of this match. But there is a hit that Pan Young Guira dies. A good hit there, this fairy, I believe, is counter type, so it does get stronger after a loss. Attack boost coming in here. Oh, hello. Another hit from the fairy. Another attack boost, but no Anyang Gira dive this time. But M Steel still very much on top in this match. But Epic Brad not going down yet. Okay, now he's going down. That's going to be game over for the fairy. And it is a bonus point win for M Steel. And a very well deserved win, but you'd have to say that death fire. That was the turning point. Okie dokie, on to our next matchup now. Ooh. Okay, in the red corner, representing Dino Fans, we've got the Blitz type Tarbosaurus. In the main event, this Tarbosaurus was very, very impressive against Dino Fans. That Gasmaniac, sorry. Now, it would have got off a crit if it wasn't for the Dino Stuffer. Right, in the blue corner, from the Dino King, we've got. Dinosaurus. Oh, the Dino King was also impressive in their win over Morslet in the first round. So this Tarbosaurus, so the Tarbosaurus will be going for two crits because it's Blitz time. Uh, none of our guys have secret dinosaurs, so no terrain advantages in this match. Come on, then. Whoa, Tarby gets the crit that time though. Massive hit by Dino fans. But didn't get it that time. But I'm sure they'll take that one crit. Rotoma gets the next hit on the board. The Ainiosaurus, a shaky start after getting hit by that blitz. But getting two good hits on the board. Well, we're not much hit. We're not those good hits. Oh, that's a tie. This Ainiosaurus is more of a tie specialist. So, yeah. Oh, that's another tie. And well, there'll be no Tarbosaurus sweep in this contest, because it's going down. Okie dokie, coming in next for Dino fans, we got the little ratty thing, we got Ceratosaurus. See that the Zora star. Now what's interesting is Dino fans can get a lead, going up against the Maya, this thing will have type advantage. Although, it only gets type advantage when the Hurricane Beat is triggered. Oh, that's another tie, but Ainiosaurus won't mind that. Oh, it won't mind that. Chip away at Ceratosaurus's HP. So the Ainiosaurus does go down, but the Ceratosaurus did take damage. Right, coming in next for the Dino King, we got Satiosaurus. Another dinosaur that seems to do likes ties because it is willpower type. And for those of you that don't know, willpower type increases your attack power after a tie. And I believe it's stackable as well. So the more ties you get, the more attack power you get. Now I'll have to test I'll have to test whether there's a limit. Don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I'll test it. Okay, good hit from Ceratosaurus. I believe it's crisis type, so it'll only it'll get stronger the more health it loses. Oh, but that's a big crit from Satyosaurus. But like I said, the Ceratosaurus is crisis type, so won't be not too bad for Dino fans, but he does need to get a hit. And he does get a hit, and it's going to be a big, big hurricane beat. With the Velociraptors coming in for the final fury as well. This is going to do a lot of damage to Satyosaurus. Kicking. Oh, he almost bloody killed it. You know, for a non-crit, that's pretty impressive. Ooh, and it is Dino fans taking the lead. Satyosaurus going down. Ah, needed the Tapijara right dive before, and it would have he would have had lethal. But he'll take this nonetheless. 
Right, coming in third for Ultimate Dino King, we have got Myasaura. It is Crisis type as well. So, not out of this yet. One hit will probably finish off the Ceratosaurus, unless it's a scissors hit. Okay, there it is. I think that should be curtains for Ceratosaurus, but it definitely pulled its weight. And now we are pretty much all square. But, coming in third for Dino fans, we have got Tank. Now, Tank will have type disadvantage against Myasaurus. So that could be key in this matchup. And that Myosaurus crit is two platoon crush and it hits really hard. It'll hit even harder with this tank. But if it's one thing tank has on its side, it is resilience. But he's gonna have to show it if Dino Fans is gonna get this win. Ooh, that's another hit. The attack boost is gonna be maxed up as well. The hits are only going to hit harder for Maya. Oh, that's another hit on the board. Yeah, I think that's... This could, is this going to be the end for Dino fans? I think it's going to be. And, oh wow, three... Oh no, it's a tag team! Tag team spearing Dino fans defeat for the minute. But he needs to get hits and needs them quick. Because this Myosaur is mopping up. And no, that's, that's game over. Game over for Dino fans. Ultima Dino King gets the win. Although, we have to say, Dino fans made them work for it. But Ultima, our former champ, is going 2-0. Right, on to our next matchup. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing D-Team, we have got Super Chomp. Uh, we're in the Coliseum, no one has any Blitz types, so no terrain advantage, no Blitz types. And um, look, it didn't, they didn't have the greatest start, D-Team, in all honesty. They did suffer an opening round loss. At the hands of Epic Brad. And I, this is going to be a tough match for them. They do have the Awaken mode, they do have the armor. Right, in the blue corner, for Gazmaniac, we've got Alpha Kentrosaurus. Well, the return didn't go to plan in the main event against Dino fans. They didn't really get going until right at the end with Super Titanosaurus. So I'm sure they'll be looking for a better show in this time. And I think they got a double type advantage in this matchup, Gazmaniac, so you would probably say they do have the upper hand here. But, well... <laughs> When does upper hand ever apply to anything in this context? Oh, good banana surprise. Good start from Gazmaniac. Wee! Boosh. Right, that's once. Ooh, but Chomp does respond with a hit. Oh, but Kench... Oh, no, it doesn't. It's a Dino Staffer. Going to put a stop to that crit. And it is going to be awakening time for Chomp. Ooh, that could be a good Dino Staffer there from DT. And a Mentor, Fusion. A hit here would definitely be great good news for DT. And they get the hit. Well, it's probably the weakest hit out of this moveset, but... No. Well, actually, looking at that... Everything said and done, we're level packing. Oh, that's a tie. Another tie. And that's another tie. Oh, look at that. Both dinosaurs hanging on by a thread. And both of them are going to go down. Okay, well... Chomp would have gone down, so I'll give Gazmaniac the next hit here with this Torvosaurus. Right, coming in next for Gazmaniac, we got Torvosaurus. Boom, boom, boom. Brum, bum, bum. So yeah, I'll give this Torvosaurus a free hit because because the Chomp would have died anyway. 
but the game doesn't like it when two dinos die at the same time. Very odd. So there's a uh, free hit. There goes Chomp. And we are all square. Right, coming in next for D Team, we have got Ace Dino Tactic. Now, I think Chomp handled that pretty well. He got the hit with the Awaken Mode. And, well, we're level packing, so they're not playing catch up. Now, the advantage that D Team could have here is because their hits won't do as much damage to the Torvasaurus, the Dino Tector bar will fill up. And they are more likely to get a Dino Tector. Of course, if Torvasaurus gets a bunch of hits, then none of that matters. Ooh, and that's a good hit there. A ninja attack. Now, I think this Torvasaurus has Burning Dash, which doesn't get triggered until after a tie. So, type disadvantage does not apply here. And Gasmaniac, not re really get struggling to get hit so far, Gasmaniac. I think they got one hit in this entire match. And that was the, the very first one. But since then, D Team has really put in a good, good effort. Okay, there's a tie. That'll trigger the burning dash. But the damage has been done already. Okay, there is the burning dash. Massive hit from Gazmaniac. And to be honest, they needed it because they were on the ropes a bit. This Ace Dino Tactic really putting in the work. But yeah, look at that. You know, Gazmania, only two hits in this match. Well, they would have got three if it weren't for the Dino Stuffer, but look at that. Not much of a deficit, though. And that's a tie, which means Burning Dash gets triggered again. Ooh, but it is Ace getting a crucial hit. And it is Di it'll be Dino Tech the time. Right, coming in next for Gazmaniac, we have got Super Titanosaurus. Well, it was Gazmaniac's most impressive dino in the first round. It definitely did its work against dino fans. And it's gonna have to get a hit here to avoid getting hit by the ultimate wind. But you have to say, D-Team has coped with the tight disadvantages very well in this match. Do you not take that on? This could be a big moment, because if D-Team gets a hit here, then I do feel they're going to win this match. But if Gazmaniac can avoid getting hit for the ultimate win, it's on for them. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, it's an ultimate win. This is going to be a massive hit from D-Team. And I think, even though I think the top... Titanosaurus might survive. I think it's going to be game over for Gazmaniac in this match. Just don't see how they're going to come back into it now. Okay, it did survive, which is impressive, but yeah. Can D-Team get the bonus point? Yes, they can. It's a bonus point win. And Gazmaniac's return is really not going to plan so far. And it is D-Team's victory. Right, on to our main event of this session, which should be an interesting one. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Morsler, we have got a Gondwana Titan. And well, if you're Morsler, probably has the toughest start out of any combatant in this tournament, going up against Ultimate Dino King in round one, and Diddy Darius in this main event. <laughs> Poor sap. But look on the bright side, it gets easier after this, so there you go. Right, in the blue corner, for Diddy Darius, we have got the Soracosaurus. Diddy Darius is to bounce back after a shock defeat in round one to M Steel. Um, I, oh, actually, yes. Diddy Darius does have Kark in third, so he will get terrain advantage in this match. And he does have the type advantage here, so... I feel like Diddy will bounce back. 
Oh, that's a good start. That's a crit. That's going to be a big crit. A Thunder Bazooka with a tight advantage as well. Good start from our former champ. Defense boost coming in there. Ooh, but Morza does respond with an Aqua Whippage. The Gondwana Titan shows so much heart in these battles despite being so small. Oh, that's another Aqua Whip. Well, it was a good start from Diddy Darius, but Morsot coming right back into this match despite the tight disadvantage. This is just the response they were looking for. Okay, but it is Diddy Darius getting that next hit. Starachosaurus landing the blow. Finishing off Gondwana Titan and giving Diddy Darius a 1 0 lead. Okie dokie, coming in next for Morsot, we've got Allosaurus. Normal Allosaurus up this. I believe you are charge type. More of a tie based Allosaurus, but it doesn't have the Sonic Blast. But that ninja attack definitely packs a punch. Well, we're going to see how much punch it packs. No, the Starachosaurus is going to bite the dust. And we are level pecking. Well, a nervy start from Diddy Darius. But a decent start for Morsva. We could definitely feel tension here because neither of them want to lose this, con this match and go 0-2. Right, coming in next for Diddy Darius, we've got Stegosaurus. Now that Quake Saber is lethal. It, you do not want to get hit by the Quake Saber. So Moors will have to be careful of that. Ooh, Stegosaurus getting the next hit on the board. It's a Venom Fang. Diddy Darius likes using Venom Fang. It's gonna poison and chip away at Allosaurus's HP. Attack boost coming in as well. That's going to increase the Steg's crit power. And this Steg is hunter type. So if it has more health than the opponent, it will get stronger. Ooh, but Allosaurus does get another hit. It's going to add a tie bomb as well. This has been a good response from Morslet so far. Ooh, but that... That hit, the attack boost maxing up. Well, that's it for attack boost now. The Stegosaurus is maxed out in attack power. But can Diddy Darius take advantage of it? Well, Morse is refusing to go away at the minute. Still chipping away at this Steg's health, getting those tie bombs, but needs a tie. Oh, that's not what she needs, but it's a Dino Stuffer. Oh, that could be a big Dino Stuffer there. Going to stop that crit. That would have been lethal for Allosaurus, but instead, it lives to fight another day. And it gets the tie. Ooh, Morslet refusing to go away in this match. And gets the hit. And all of a sudden now, Diddy Darius is behind. Well, he won't be behind for long because this Carcharodontosaurus coming in will have terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit. And it will be a crit, which will be curtains for Allosaurus. Now, write down how many times I said will in that statement. <laughs> but wow, this has been a good main event so far. Back and forth. Neither of them budging. And both guys down to their last dinos with all to play for. Right, coming in third for Morsa, we got Pachycephalosaurus. Honestly, this could go either way. Ba -da 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 -da. 
And we didn't see yet what this Pachycephalosaurus can really do. I think it died pretty quickly to, to uh, Satyosaurus, if I remember correctly. Ooh, look at this from Morsa getting another hit on the board. Is Diddy Darius feeling the nerves again? That's a tie. Ties or suit Pachycephalosaurus though. Another tie. And another hit. Diddy Darius flirted with disaster. Can Morsa pull off the upset? Oh my gosh, she pulled off the upset! It's gonna be Morsla's victory in this match! And Diddy Darius, the former champ, is going 0-2! Unbelievable! What a win for Morsla, they're bouncing back from disappointment in round one in style! As for Diddy Darius, well, 0-2, not a good start at all! Who saw this come in? Right! We're going to have a look at the table and we can end the session. Well, that is how Group D looks. A very interesting group after two rounds. We have Ultimate Dino King and M Steel, and M Steel top with seven points. Then we have D Team in third getting that bonus point victory. Morsla after that stunning victory over Diddy Darius getting off the mark. Dino fans staying on three points after losing to Ultimate Dino King. Epic Brad staying on three points as well. And then we have... Gaz Maniac and Diddy Darius pointless in this tournament so far. Re that has really opened up Group D. So if you don't want to miss how Group D ends, well, you better subscribe, isn't you? Leave a like, ding the bell. You don't want to miss out on Group D matches. I can tell you that now. And until next time, ta-ta.